Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome back after such a long, long time. I was in a break of a month, as, I, as I've already shared uh, through my Facebook page, that I was in a break for the month of Ramadan, where we Muslim fast. And I was quite busy in the month, because uh, there are so many stuff that we need to do in this month that we don't really get time for any other things but finally today we are here with the, a new video and we have a lot to discuss uh, in, in, in this series of learning Laravel from scratch I hope you utilized your time of this month to practice the videos that I uploaded previously and you are ready to explore more on Laravel so there are a few things that we uh, that I want to cover today and I'd like to show you so you can see <coughs> that uh, whenever I type in localhost project public uh, you can see that the, uh, the project opens in the browser but uh, whenever I try browsing localhost slash project it just lists me out in the folders uh, uh, of my Laravel project right Generally, in other frameworks and in other, you know, let's say, CMS like WordPress, Codeigniter, and other all other frameworks, you can see that whenever we type in our base URL, it generally opens up the project right away. But in the case of Laravel, what we need to do additionally is we need to go to our public folder. But this is causing my URL to look a bit uh, messy. I don't want this public to be shown. In my project so I just want something like whenever I type localhost project I want my project to open instantly without getting into the public folder so what could be the way to resolve this issue this is not actually an issue because Laravel is not a framework that is supposed to be set up in a shared environment All right so actually what we generally do in our live environment is whenever we set up a domain we don't usually uh, point our domain to our root directory not of the project but of our server for example if you go to let me just show you some examples <coughs> uh, maybe I have a server let's say for, uh, slash uh, uh, cpanel maybe no, well, let's double check <coughs> this is one of my dedicated server so if I go to my server and list some account, list accounts. You can just go to codiary.com. <coughs> so, for those who are not aware of what's going on, this is uh, something known as cPanel, uh, where we host our live websites. So, if you go get inside the file manager, you can see. That it lists out the folder structure uh, of the default cPanel system uh, it's not necessary that live uh, website should always be in this structure I'm not sure why it takes so much time <coughs> let us just wait for a while and I just lost my connection google.com it's there yes so if you see uh, this is our uh, let's say the folder structure of our live environment so generally our domain points to our public HTML which is just exactly the same as www directory of our uh, let's say local environment in AMPS or WAMP in XAMPP we have stdocs so these are all the same things so if you see public HTML is equivalent to uh, let's say the www of WAMP and uh, AMPS in case of XAMPP it is equivalent to stdocs folder so whatever we place in inside our <coughs> let's say inside our uh, public HTML it shows up uh, for example this domain is codiary.com if I just open this up codiary.com You should see under construction, which is because of this index.php. Let me just rename it for a while, and you'll be able to see all these folder structure like this, 
right so you can say index of php magento news presta shop and all those stuffs exactly same as here so public.html actually points the uh, domain okay so domain are usually pointed to public.html so we can actually point domain wherever we want if we are using shell access or if you are familiar with terminal commands so generally in case of laravel we point our domain to uh, uh, instead of pointing our domain to our let's say www we point our let's say our root directory in our case it could be project instead of pointing kodai.com to project we generally point our domain to public folder so that it opens up public index.php instead of this folder right so if our domain is pointing to project directory it will show up this but if our domain is pointing to public directory it will open the website so this is the scenario in case of live environment but there is another fix as well so in case you don't want to mess with uh, where your domain want to wants to point you just want your domain to be pointed to public html like in default case and you don't want your domain to point inside let's say uh, some specific folder like project public you just want it to work normally so in that case what we can do is there are actually different approaches but uh, i would like to show you uh, uh, one of the easiest approach so if you go get inside project folder you have a folder called public over here so what you can do is you can just copy <coughs> uh, each and every folder from here just copy this and paste it outside of the public folder this might cause some issues since uh, there are some folder bindings we have binded our public folder storage with this storage which might not work after we have moved those outside because the path that we the command that we run the storage link but php artist in the storage link actually links the public storage folder with this with this uh, let's say storage folder so after we have moved all those <coughs> folder outside now we actually don't need public folder anymore but i'm not removing public right now because the link will cause the issue so i will uh, i will cover in my coming videos how to fix the link issue but right now what i did is i just copied each and every folder from public and pasted it in outside of my in my root directory which is my project right so after doing this you can just open your project here so all of my all of my let's say um, uh, all of my folders inside public folder is now out of my public folder so it is inside the root which is project so what I can do is I can just open this index.php which was previously inside public folder but now is outside of public folder which means we are now in the root folder project so I just open it and just to fix the path I'll just remove this slash and dot dot okay so just remove the slash and dot dot so these two places will do it I guess so let me just save this index.php now and try to browse try to browse my local host slash project so it, it should now open the index.php which is inside the project and it should open up the project perfectly let's see so you can see it is opening up the project but I think because of uh, because my folder is not showing the hidden folder the hidden files uh, my ST access might not have yet copied so what I'll do is I'll just open up my public folder double click this copy this and paste it outside paste it inside my project so I'll just create a new file called ST access save it uh, I confirm to use dot and save it now I think we are ready uh, with our project so if I go to slash admin if, if I if I hadn't copied and the ST access my slash admin would not have worked right so in order to make our links work uh, we need to copy the ST access file as well so I've copied my ST access file outside the public folder now the public directory is gone because we are no more using the index.php of public folder rather we have copied all the files and folders from the public folder and pasted it outside pasted it outside the public so we are ready to go now if I just try to login uh, it should be info 
info at the kodai.com login so all the modules are working perfectly fine so categories news yes so we are fine with it so this was a simple way to um, uh, remove the public from our URL there are other uh, approaches as well using ST access in order to uh, say that uh, uh, let's say local host slash project is equivalent to local host slash project slash uh, public but uh, those things will just uh, make you confused this is just uh, one of the simple ways of uh, making the URL work and to, in order to remove the public from the URL so you can just copy each and every folder and files including the hidden files like .sd access and paste it outside of the public directory and the only modification that you need to do is you need to remove the dot dot and slash extra slash since we are already out so previously you can see that since we were inside the public directory what we are doing is from the current directory which is public directory we are getting uh, we are getting out uh, from that directory so that we are in the project directory we are getting inside vendor and then we are going, going to autoload.php similarly in this case we are getting out of public directory using this dot dot and we are getting inside bootstrap after php but since our index.php is now outside of the public directory i don't need to get outside of my current directory so i'll just remove these so just remove this since we are already outside of public directory i don't need to get uh, uh, outside again so this was one of the way to make your url work without public in the url second thing i want to discuss today before we leave is since we are trying to make our system work for live environment as well and we are trying to remove uh, the development uh, we are trying to switch from the development environment to the production environment now in such case you see so if we have dot env file this way so if i just say project dot env you can see anybody can see all of our details through just uh, a url so if somebody just types in dot env they can see what is our database uh, configurations and what are our mail driver configurations and all those stuffs and which will make hacker easy to hack our website or database okay so it is not a good practice to have dot env in live environment or in production environment rather what we need to do is instead of configuring our dot env file uh, uh, instead of using our env file what we can do is we can just open this and you can see that all of these configurations is a place inside config inside app you can see what you want app name to be so if you get inside env you can see app name is laravel so what this function is doing is this function is checking if there is an environment variable present in our project so if there is an environment variable present in our project it grabs the value from the environment variable and if there is uh, if we don't have any environment variable it will just uh, uh, say the name or app name is equal to uh, let's say it assigns uh, laravel in the name index so similarly if you go app underscore env it says if if it finds app underscore env inside dot env it will search inside env and if it does not find it it will make it it will assign production into env variable this means if let us suppose we don't have env variable so i'll just rename it for now and the site site should not be working uh, anymore so let's see since it is not able to find the environment variable so all of the configurations are missing so it says something went wrong so in order to fix this what we need to do is let us just open our app.php and quickly check to see if we need to modify anything over here so i don't think there are anything that we need to modify so let's go to config.php we have another file over here that is known as database.php open it and it, uh, there are some values for example if you go to see uh, here uh, it is saying db host is 127.0.0.1 which is fine 
you can use that as well so 330 is default port if you have some some different host some di different port you can just place it over here our database is not false our database I can copy it from here which is project right so I'll just place project over here my username is <coughs> root and my password is mysql save it so my database is done and I, uh, let me just check to see so if you have some mail configuration just like the env if you have your any default smtp uh, uh, configurations you can place it over here and <coughs> if you if you are not using mail in uh, right currently you can just ignore it now try to refresh the project since our database configurations are corrected now if you just refresh this it says still there is something uh, wrong let's see what we are missing so okay app key uh, so let's get inside here Are we, yes this is the app key since we don't have any environment variable so we need to place our app key over here by ourselves so let's say I'll just place in comma uh, and we don't have environment variable so I would like to copy this and paste it over here let me just get rid of this extra line okay well, let me just try to refresh this once again now we are good so localhost project is opening our uh, our let's say project without public in the URL now we can go to admin check to see if our database are working so I'm all logged in and it is grabbing entries from the database perfectly and our system is up again and we are not using a public folder firstly and secondly we are not using env file anymore so without env and without public we are now able to run our application which is perfectly fine which is great because in live environment when we are about to deliver our project to our clients we don't want um, our uh, client to see public in the URL or we don't want hackers to get our configurations uh, let's say database configurations our SMTP configurations by just typing in .env in the URL so we remove .env file and we uh, and we remove the public from the URL easily and second thing last thing I want to uh, discuss with you is even if you go and try to see the git ignore this is the file that is responsible to ignore anything to be pushed in our git repository even this file if you see contains .env because the standard practice is not to use this file in production environment so even git suggests that you skip this file whenever you are trying to push or pull from the repository so that was it for today i think you enjoyed the video and i hope the video was informative and you learned new new stuffs and it will be easy for you to move forward in uh, production environment in live server and you will find this video really helpful mm. so I'll see you guys tomorrow with the new video with the new topic and we will learn continue learning with Laravel in coming uh, videos till then have a nice time goodbye <laughs>